Hey guys, so we're going to work on part four to this. Let me see. There we go. Now it's level. I take a stick out. Um, so first, before we put any resin on it, um, and we're not just doing plain clear resin, we're actually adding a holographic glitter to it. But before we put anything on it, we're going to flip it over. We're going to tape off the back because we don't want resin drips. with painter's tape. doesn't have to be perfect. The main goal is to not have any on the back so I don't have any little drips so that it sits flat on the wall. Um, and we're going to have to, anything that does drip, we're going to have to heat it up after everything's dry so that I can pull the tape off anyway. I was going to tape the sides too and not let any get on the sides. But then I thought, you know, it's going to drip down the sides anyway, so it's not going to be too thick on the sides, regardless. So it should be okay. Okay, now I'm just going to go through and press it down. And there we go. Boom, boom, boom. Dust this off again. I've already wiped it off once. Um, but since there was silicone in the black that's underneath the pour, I do want to just wipe it off again easily because I don't want to tear up any of that black paint in those sections. Just make sure we get any excess silicone off of it. Okay, so now it's taped off, and I'm going to set it to the side for a minute. We're going to mix up our resin, and we are using Stone Coat Countertops Art Coat with the Ultra UV Protection. This is A and B. A is the resin, B is the hardener. Um, we're going to mix equal parts. Resin to hardener. And then after it's mixed, for that piece, we're going to use the Folk Art Extreme Glitter in Holograph or Hologram. And it's a number 2796 for anybody who's wanting this exact one. Um, it's a very fine glitter. It looks white, but it does dry clear. Um, so it's a very fine glitter. And we're just going to do a really thin coat with that. So. With 
with the art coat you're supposed to get 45 minutes of cure time I mean 45 minutes of work time once it's mixed so hopefully it works that way and I would say what I've learned so far in the few projects that I've done is that I would pour the hardener slower because the hardener is more fluid um, so it pours out faster so I've got equal parts I'm just going to pour the hardener in here I'll scrape the edges the bottom get all of it out don't want to waste any resin at all Okay, and then we're going to mix. And when you mix, you do the same thing. All the edges. And the bottom. And then you mix again. Then the edges again. And the bottom. I'm just going to turn screen my phone on so I can check the time. Um, this resin needs two to three minutes of stir, of mixing. Um, Okay. I did need some clear for another project. So, I'm going to set the clear back here. This one, I normally add my glitter or additive first. But this one, because we're going to add a little stir, get the consistency we want, and then add a little more. Because I want the right amount of glitter. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little to it. We're going to stir it up. And then I'm going to add more as needed. Same thing when you're mixing in colors. Um, make sure you get the edges. The bottom. Because you don't want some clear glitter and then some that's got your color in it. Because that would leave it wonky. I think that's plenty of glitter. I actually don't think I'm going to need any more. So that was actually perfect. Okay, we're going to set this to the side for just a moment. Move our resiners. Our resins. I'm going to move my clear resin. And move my table. I'm going to set my clear resin back here for my other project. And then... Get my painting back. And there we go. Get it set up. We've wiped it off. And now I'm just going to add the clear resin with the glitter in it. And I'm just going to add it a little at a time. Um, because I haven't done a full painting like this, I don't know exactly how much I need. And 
you can use something to move it around but I'm just going to use my hands because I do have gloves on and I'm just going to use one hand that way I still have the other hand to you know pull my more resin out if I need it I just, <laughs> maybe I should hold it with my other hand <laughs> as I'm pushing resin across. Um, and the reason I can do it with my hands is because the resin is self-leveling. So even if I leave like brush strokes with a brush or marks with my hand, it levels itself out. And I'm just going to wipe it with my hands since my hands are already wet with the resin. And the holograph glitter just kind of takes over whatever color are under it. So in this case, it's going to take over some greens and some blacks. Um, and just give that. And then I'm just lightly running over the edges so that they have a little bit of resin on them so that they're still shining. They don't look dull compared to the rest. I actually forgot to paint the bottom white on this one. I mean black to match the others, so I'll probably end up painting the sides a little more and then doing a coat of resin on them as well. I just want to make sure that I've got resin everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to take this glove off because it's got resin all over it and I don't want to resin my torch. <laughs> and I'm just going to go over it quickly to dissipate air bubbles. I don't want to overdo it, but I still see bubbles and um any bubbles that are left will actually show up as bubbles or divots in your resin and I want a nice level coat so I'm just going to kind of look around there's a spot I'm going to have to put a little bit more resin on trying to look around for any air bubbles it's hard to see with the glitter okay so do have a spot right here that the resin just ran off of and it might be that there might have been a little silicone left there we'll know if the resin moves again hopefully there's not if there is silicone there and it comes off again then that means I'm gonna have to add another coat after this dries I'm just blowing because I saw a few air bubbles that, you know, that would help. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going back over it slowly because the air bubbles will keep popping and rising. But I really like that glitter coat. Um, we may put another coat of glitter on or we may just put a coat of clear resin. I'll decide once it dries and I see kind of how it does. Okay, so the resin's staying there. So I'm just kind of looking at it from different angles here. I see some bubbles and I just want to make sure that the resin stayed everywhere. So it looks good. And there's a little bit of resin down all of the edges, even though I'm going to probably have to come back in and paint the edge because I forgot to paint the bottom edge. I painted the rest of the edges black, but I couldn't paint the bottom until we pulled the decal out so okay so it looks good I'm gonna clear a spot to put this and then we'll come back once it's dry I'll show you guys so you can see the glitter more and we'll decide if we're gonna put another coat or what we're gonna do um, depending on how it looks if I think it needs more glitter um, I'll also probably contact the buyer and just be like this is what it looks like would you like 
more glitter, less glitter, you know, you can't do less, but there's a bubble up there and it's not popping. I'm trying to make sure there's no bubbles on here because you can't really see as well because of all the details. So I'm just, I don't want divots and stuff. This is one of my first commission pieces that needs resin. Um, which just, you know, <laughs> I'm learning resin. So when you're learning something and then it's a commission piece, you know, you want to make sure that everything is perfect. My little resin right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to clear off a spot for this to sit and cure. And then we'll come back with another resin piece on the next video. So be looking forward to that because we do have the other piece to do.